Let's relax and unwind at the close of day. Sit in a cross-legged position if you can. If your knees are above your hips, place a towel under your seat to raise the hips and lower your knees. Now let's thank the Lord for His goodness, His faithfulness, and loving kindness toward us. Lord Jesus, thank you for this day and for always being with me and never leaving me. Psalm 113.3 says, From the rising of the sun to its going down, the Lord's name is to be praised. Lord God, I bless your holy name, the wonderful name of Jesus. You are good, and your mercy endures forever. As I have given you my day, I now give you my night. My times are in your hand, Lord, and I thank you for helping me relax and renew in spirit, soul, and body. Amen. Holding on to your knees, inhale, and then exhale as you lean back, rounding your spine and pulling in your abs, arms straight, chin to chest. Inhale and arch your back, pressing chest forward and chin up. Exhale and round the back. Inhale and scoop forward, stretching the neck with a slight smile on your face. And then exhale rounding your back one more time deep inhale forward and exhale back inhale and turn to one side hands on the floor exhale and relax your torso over your knee keeping both sides of your seat on the floor relax and breathe deeply. As you're relaxing, listen to these beautiful words from the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Inhale. And then exhale, using your abs to help you round up or press into your hands if needed. Inhale, turning to the other side, and repeat this relaxing stretch. Continuing with the 23rd Psalm, He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Inhale. Exhale, rounding back up. Inhale in the center. And exhale, coming forward in front of you. Head relaxed, seat on the floor. And now the remainder of the 23rd Psalm. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Exhale to round back up. Straighten and shake your legs out a bit. Now cross your feet the other way, opposite foot forward, and let's repeat the sequence. Inhale, turn to one side, hands on the floor. Exhale and relax your torso over your knee. Breathe deeply. Make sure you keep both sides of your seat on the floor. Inhale. And pull in the abdomen as you round up, using your hands if needed. Inhale at the top, turn to the other side. And come over the other knee as you exhale. Let every muscle go. Don't hold any tension in the neck. Breathe deeply and relax. Oh, thank you, Lord, for this day. We rest in you. Inhale, 
exhale rounding back up back to the center and inhale and then exhale coming forward in front of you head relaxed seat on the floor meditate on or speak aloud with me these words from the 23rd Psalm the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he makes me to lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil my cup runs over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever amen exhale and pull in the abdomen to round back up pressing into your hands if needed staying nice and relaxed now come on to all fours for the flapping tent bring your hands just in front of your shoulders legs hip width apart as you inhale tilt the tailbone up and let your spine curve downward dropping the abdomen and lifting your head up looking up stretch gently exhale and curve the spine in the opposite direction tilting the tailbone down pulling the chest and abdomen in chin toward chest gently inhale and exhale flowing back and forth as I say the scripture the Spirit of God has made me and the breath of the Almighty gives me life Job 33 4 inhale and exhale relaxing the shoulders the neck and spine with each breath the Spirit of God has made me and the breath of the Almighty gives me life we'll now move into the tent posture curl your toes under and spread the fingers wide apart with the middle fingers parallel to one another pointing straight ahead rotate the inside of your elbows forward with the arms straight press the hips up and back reaching the tailbone toward the ceiling press your heels toward the floor you may bend the knees slightly to help straighten the back relax your head and neck and breathe deeply enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings do not spare lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes Isaiah 54 2 bend one knee and then the other keeping the neck and shoulders relaxed breathe deeply into the abdomen lower your knees onto the floor and relax into the little child posture by sitting back onto your heels forehead to the ground and arms overhead or at your sides in mark 10:15, Jesus said assuredly I say to you whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it next we'll do the altar posture on your hands and knees straighten your legs hold the abs in and keep your hips in a straight line down the back don't let your hips drop down if you'd like to rest just lower your knees if your wrists are sensitive you can do this posture on your fists or come down onto your forearms now in the altar posture I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable to God which is your reasonable service Romans 12 1 lower your knees come down onto the floor on your abdomen to prepare for the vine posture place your forehead to the floor and your hands under your shoulders keeping the elbows pressed into your sides gently glide your forehead 
nose, and chin along the floor and begin to look up, using your back muscles first, then pressing into your hands, lifting your chest off the floor. Be sure to keep your hip bones on the floor, shoulders down. Look up at the ceiling and breathe deeply. In John 15, 5, Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Inhale, and then as you exhale, keep looking up as you lower your torso back down slowly, elbows in, bring chin, nose, and forehead to the floor, arms and cheek to the side, and relax. Focus on that wonderful word of the Lord. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Oh, precious Holy Spirit, please show me times I did abide in the Lord today. Times I looked to you and leaned on you. And please show me times I relied on my own strengths and abilities when I could have drawn on your strength and wisdom instead. I purpose to do better. Starting right now, I humbly affirm, Lord, that you are the vine. I am the branch. I choose to be a branch that abides in you, and I know you abide in me. So together, we bear much fruit. Without you, I can do nothing, Lord, but with you, all things are possible. Glory to God. Come back up onto your hands and knees and stretch back up into the tent posture. Press the hips and tailbone more toward the ceiling, heels toward the floor. Breathe deeply and relax your head and neck more. Press the heels toward the floor or alternate bending the knees and gently pressing one heel at a time into the floor. Together, Lord, we are enlarging the place of our tent and stretching out the curtains of our dwellings. We do not spare. We lengthen our cords and strengthen our stakes. Come back down now into the little child posture and relax for a few moments. Lord, I receive the kingdom of heaven as a little child. I receive your will and your way of doing things with complete faith and trust. Come up onto all fours to prepare for the dove posture. From all fours, slide one leg back and the opposite foot and knee forward, lowering the hips. Make sure you don't roll onto the side to sit. Keep the body lifted up, your weight evenly distributed between the legs. Move the front foot forward to where it's most comfortable for you. Rest your hands on the floor or your legs and if you can, rotate the shoulders back bringing your hands behind you. Clasp the thumbs together and straighten the fingers so they look like the folded wings of a dove or hold on to a belt to begin to bring the hands together. Reach up through the crown of your head, lengthening the spine and lifting the chest. Either use your hands to support you or keep the hands behind you as you exhale and hinge forward slowly bringing your forehead to the floor. Our scripture is from Matthew 3.16. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. Breathe gently and rest with your forehead on the floor. Inhale. Then as you exhale, slowly come back up using your hands if needed. Place the elbow and forearm on the same side as the outstretched leg on the floor and the opposite hand to the waist for a variation called the dove twist. Gently turn to the side, look up and breathe deeply. Inhale and then exhale as you return to the front to repeat the dove on the other side. Slide the front leg back, lift 
and stretch it up for a moment. Lower it and bring the other leg forward, bringing hands to the floor or behind you if you can. When ready, see if you can place your forehead to the floor using your hands as needed. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. Relax and breathe deeply, relaxing a bit more with each exhalation. The next verse is especially wonderful. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Glory to God. Either pull in the abdomen to come up or use your hands on the floor to support you. Place the elbow and forearm on the same side as the outstretched leg on the floor and bring the opposite hand to the waist for the dove twist. Gently turn to the side, look up, and breathe deeply. Inhale and then exhale as you return to the front, coming up onto all fours to stretch the bent leg behind you. Now come to a seated position with your legs on the floor straight in front of you. Remember CBA, correct body alignment. Sitting up straight, shoulders rolled back, yet relaxed. <laughs> 